hey guys it's Kay of course welcome back to my channel so in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you two short wigs so you know that I have been searching for some shorter wigs and long and behold I found some short wigs to share with you guys you know sometimes you get tired of the long hair and you want to switch it up me personally I love shorter wigs on me but I can never find the perfect short wig like short wigs are so hard to come by all right so let's just hop into this wig so this is by Outre. this is their premium db wig and it is a hundred percent human hair so if you wanted to go in and curl it wash it all that good stuff you can do so so it says that it's pre-bumped meaning it's already curl and style for you um and it's in the style pixie mohawk i have it in the color 1b I, de I don't believe they had it to when I purchased this wig, but I definitely want to go back and see if they have a color too. And I do feel like I want to get it in some more colors now that I know that I actually like the wig. So this is what the picture looks like. Let's get into it. Let me come up close so you guys can see what it looks like. It's so freaking pretty. Now, um... It does come, this is a full cap wig. It comes with a comb in the back. I'm not sure if it came with combs in the front, but I'll put it on the screen if it did. Um, and it also comes with adjustable straps. Now, the wig cap is nice and stretchy. I do feel like it could be big head friendly. I did go in and cut the front. And I also went in and cut the back. So the back didn't look like this. The back actually had hair coming like that. To me, it looked really, really, my nose is running. To me, it looked really wiggy. So I ended up cutting all of the hair off and kind of just like shaped it up. And I also used this to kind of thin out the thickness of the back just so it can look more natural. So this is a razor comb. You can pick this up from your local beauty supply store like I did but this is what I used to shape the back and I also used like some regular scissors to like cut in on the sides so that's what I did to the back now under this I do have my hair braided flat because y'all know I wear a ponytail and um of course shorter wigs you have to have your hair braided flat you don't want that ponytail or anything sticking out. So I did kind of like braid it going like this and then cornrows going straight back. And I used my needle and thread just to pin everything up so it can lay flat. So I think that I did a pretty good job on that. And that's what the bag is looking like. This wig was affordable. I think it was no more than $15. I'll go ahead and leave the price in the description as well along with the link. But yeah, real, real affordable and it's human so you can still go in, curl it, style it however you want to. It is a full cap unit so that's the only downside just in case you wanted to part the wig. You can't do none of that. But honestly it's so cute like this like you don't need to part it or anything like that. So, moving along to the next wig. This is the second wig, and the first wig that I showed you, it did come with two combs in the front, um, just in case any of you guys wanted to know. So, two combs in the front and a comb in the back. Now, this wig I'm about to show you is a freaking 13 by 6, okay? I was a little skeptical about purchasing this because I didn't want this to look it kind of it look it don't kind of it looks like a grandma wig okay like it's giving you granny vibes um the whole style is just off but i felt like i can definitely finesse it so if you're not a finesse and you like your wig straight out the package i mean if you like the style get it for me i just did not like the style but if you're one that like that don't like fooling with wigs and you like the way i'm straight out the pack this probably is not going to be the wig for you. But let's get into this wig. So this is by Sensational, I believe. Yeah, this is by Sensational. It's the Clell 9 Swiss Lace Wet Lace Wig. I have it in Kishana. I think I'm saying that right, Kishana. Um, so this is what she's looking like. She's kind of like a pixie bob in a way. Um, she had like some long pieces right here. Now, 
I did, this is not exactly how it came because before I even thought about doing this video, I did start to cut on her because I was going to wear her too. But I'm going to finish styling her on camera just so you guys can see um, how she turns out. But like I said, she is a 13, she is a 13 by 6. So she has all that good old lace. I did go in with my even tint and spray um, to tint the lace already. She comes with two combs in the front, a comb in the back, and she has the adjustable straps. So let me try her on for you. Now what I did already is I cut the sides. So I definitely feel like this wig is big head friendly for sure. But this is what this wig is looking like. I did go in and pluck the hairline so it's looking real good and real natural. And I cut off those sides. That's what I that's basically what I did. And I did cut the front a little bit. It was a little bit longer than this. And I cut that. So I did kind of take my razor comb again and just cut the sides to kind of like blend everything in because the sides were how the picture looks it was long kind of like a a ball but it was weird like the length was basically right here on the sides of course it is parting space so this one you can part it wherever you want to i'm thinking of course i'm going to do like a little side part yeah, I'm going to do a side part. We're going to see what's going on with this. Hopefully, uh, I don't know. This one is a little bit more tricky than the first one. The first one was a breeze for me. This one, I don't know. So now that I laid down my lace, I look like freaking Johnny Bravo, y'all. Alright, so I feel like you can kind of see the lace a little bit. So I'm going to go take my bronzer, what I, what I use for my face. And I'm going to just put it right there a little bit. Alright, so let's tackle these edges real quick. I just need to like kind of see how I'm gonna make my edges. Alright, so I feel like I kind of, I'm a little confident in my edges right now, like this side at least. So I'm going to go in and just like secure those edges.
Alright guys, so here are my end results and I think that it turned out really nice. I'm definitely feeling the way that it turned out. Now, I did go in the back just like the first wig. I did go in the back. I did cut the back just like the first wig, but I had to do it off camera because you have to be real precise. So this is actually what it looks like in the back and I did the same thing that I did to the first wig. like her as well you guys let me know which one you like best but the hairline on this one is super natural like literally it looks like it's coming out of my scalp definitely definitely a vibe y'all i will say this thing is really big it's a really big cap so if you do have a smaller size head like me buy with caution okay um you're definitely gonna have to a head at least down your can just with as like a glueless unit because it's just not gonna work for our small head um that's the only way you're gonna secure it and yeah and i also use the comb in the back as well but let me put on my earrings so i can take a little picture for y'all How y'all feel about her? How y'all feel? How y'all feel? I'm definitely loving how she came out compared to how she looked originally. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video.